Gregory Mackay, I'm a Melbourne based cartoonist and this is my studio here in Brunswick. I wrote my first comic in grade 5. I think it was about this character who spreads soap flakes throughout the entire world and swamped the entire world with, with, with bubbles so that uh, I think everyone died under this layer of foam. I chose to do comics because I liked the immediacy of, of the form. So it's a conversation between you and a reader that's more guided than a book, but it still maintains that, that closeness to the, the, um, the individual. I was asked the other day here at the studio, oh, so are you a fine artist? And I said, no, I'm a cartoonist. I certainly have an art practice. You know, I sit around with pens and ink in a studio I try and draw every day. I work, you know, I have a job and I do other things, but certainly I start feeling a bit strange if I'm not drawing. I have fibromyalgia, which is a uh, neurological condition. So it's similar to chronic fatigue syndrome, uh, but it has like a, a pain element to it. One thing about my health condition is that it does take you away from the world, but you do lose time. When you are very tired and, and, uh, and unwell, it's very hard to maintain the concentration required. Uh, for many years, I, I was told I had Marfan syndrome, which is a, a degenerative condition. And then a little while ago, it was discovered that I didn't have this degenerative condition and I have a neurological condition. So my life kind of changed at that point. <music> Comics, once you think of the story and you've planned out how the story will run, what the panels are going to be doing, you kind of just turn into a process worker. You are an inking machine for your comic. I find imagination is something that uh, you need to cultivate, and when it switches on and it starts working, you've got to just switch everything else off and let it go. I write a comic of Francis Bear, which is a story about a itinerant drunken bear who um, you know likes to invent things and uh, cause trouble. I like the unpredictability of Francis Bear, how he doesn't always do what is logical and what everyone else would do. This is Francis Bear, he's a stuffed toy from the 1980s. He's a bit old and tattered right now. I got him on my birthday at some point and uh, he's had a few repairs over the years. But, you know, he's kind of come to symbolise uh, identity. I think that he kind of symbolises a sort of alternate self. I was so young when I got the bear, I didn't really realise that, that it wasn't alive. I was sort of under the impression that the bear was coming alive, that sort of thing. So when I found out that the bear was never going to come alive, you know, it was this really kind of interesting shift that I went through. got to always keep learning and keep changing and keep trying new things. Don't be afraid to, when you get somewhere and you get really good at something, changing and uh, coming up with something new. Go in my head, out of my world.